So, okay, Mariana, uh, you can start this section A. From the first section, introduction to mindfulness. My first question is to you, what is mindfulness and how would you define it in a simple term? Mindfulness is uh, becoming fully aware of the present moment. Mindfulness is a very big term. It is almost impossible to give a very short definition and explanation. But in, in, in general, it is an awareness that we develop all the time. Whether we are sitting, standing, walking, lying down, whenever we are awake, we have to keep our mind alert, awake, to know what is going on within us. We use our own body, mind, feeling, perception, thought and consciousness to develop this awareness. Because these are the only material we have to deal with and these are the materials that make our life happy or unhappy. And uh, I heard uh, in the introduction uh, Dr. Don Gunasekar mentioned that uh, people these days spend many hours a day at workplace, at home and so forth, and towards the evening they are full of stress. And this overcoming stress is one of the factors, one of the effects of meditation, mindfulness practice. Uh, but that, we have to become aware of that from the very beginning very beginning of stress. Yes. In Pali there is a word to, for that. Most people have translated into in, into various ways in, into English. Uh, but still it is not completely comprehensible because the way they have translated it into English. That means we must see things as they arise from the very root, from the very root, when we notice the root from which the stress starts, it is easy to nip in the bud when we are aware of it. That is the very essence of mindfulness practice. The roots are either greed, hatred or delusion or non-hatred, uh, non-greed, non-delusion. Non-greed is whatever arises, passes away and then let it go. Whatever arises, passes away yeah. and we must not try to hold on to it because it always slips our grip. We cannot hold on to anything. Or sometimes stress arises from hatred, out of which you can get jealousy, anxiety, and so on. And as soon as we realize that particular mental state arises from hatred, that very moment we like we must be able to get rid of that hatred. That means practicing metta, loving friendliness at that very moment. Sometimes we experience stress arising from confusion. Things are not very clear in our mind. Stress can arise at that time. That very moment we try to develop our wisdom, understanding the very nature of our mind and situation. So all this including the practice of mindfulness. Thank you. Yeah. Well, on the next question, what is not mindfulness? Uh, there's so many online courses and digital sessions on YouTube, Instagram, and other sources. How can we distinguish true mindfulness practices from the rest? Okay, many people say mindfulness is not Buddhist practice. They say so. Yes. 
Actually, the very word mindfulness in Pali is called Sati. Yes. Was introduced to the world by the Buddha. Prior to Buddha, they have a meditation system, yes. concentration meditation, all over the world, yes. especially in Indian society. Yes. There were yogis, yes. rishis, monis, yes. mendicants practicing meditation. They all practice tranquility meditation. It's called Samatha. In yes. Pali. And none of them had insight meditation or mindfulness meditation. Even the word they did not know. Right. Only the Buddha who introduced this system made mindfulness, sati, sati, introduced his teaching. It is so important that is in his main teaching. What is the main teaching? Four noble truths, the last of which is right, eight mindful steps to happiness. We call eight noble eightfold path. Noble eightfold path. Seven steps of the noble eightfold path is mindfulness. Bali is called samma sati, samma sati, right mindfulness. Why it is called right mindfulness? Because yes. that's the wrong mindfulness. Yes, that's what we want to explore. Wrong mindfulness. Wrong mindfulness is not supported by right understanding. Yeah. Wrong mindfulness is wrong understanding, wrong thought, wrong speech, wrong action, wrong livelihood, yes. wrong effort, and wrong mindfulness. Excellent. And wrong concentration. Yeah. So. Seven wrong factors support wrong mindfulness. Yes, man. <laughs> Seven right factors support yes. right mindfulness. And this, therefore, this very perfect system was introduced by the Buddha. And these days people say mindfulness is not Buddhist practice. But the practice now has become a secular. Uh, because it's so easily, you know, diluted. Yes. It's spread all over the world. Everybody is practicing, that's yes. very good. Yes. Everybody is practicing, that is very good. But they must remember the root of the word mindfulness Sati, yes. came from the Buddha's own enlightenment. Yeah. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, one more, yes. Yeah. Can you share the origins of mindfulness practices in Buddhism and how for they have evolved? How for happy life? Happy life? Uh, no, can you share origins of mindfulness practices in it, Buddhism? And how they have evolved? Evolved. Mindfulness yeah. evolved. practice evolved. Yeah. Yes. Because the Buddha, even before attainment of enlightenment, yes. you know, Buddha was a genius. Genius. Yes. Any tiny little thing is enough for him to trigger his wisdom. Any tiny little thing. Yes. So he began to question. Why this happened? Why this? Why this? Why this? Why this? When he was questioning, he kept questioning, questioning his teachers, parents, friends, everybody he questioned. And then, they found that answers they get from them were not correct, perfect, clear answers. Therefore, he began to investigate within himself. Yes. When we investigate ourselves introspectively, mm -hmm. we began to understand what is happening to us. Yeah. Then he, he, he saw the very truth of Dependent origination. Yes. Dependent origination. This it has a, a negative side and positive side. From that he, he, he realized if something arises, something else arises along with that. Yes. What this is, this is this, when this arises, 
this arises. When this is not, this is not. When this, when this passes away, this passes away. This is the law of dependent origination. Yes. Yes. From the, that is the root, yes. from, from root of the vipassana meditation, mindfulness meditation. That's how he started. In the law of causality, yes. cause and effect, Hence, mindfulness yeah. practice it right there. Okay, thank you, Bhante.